Hi! Today I'm going to be doing a swimsuit collection video. A little bit different than the other videos I've seen like this. I don't have, you know, 50 swimsuits. I just have a very small collection and I actually think I'm going to get rid of one or two pieces in this video. I'm also going to show little clips of me trying all of them on and if you're a man who's creepy here I think there are other websites that are better for you where you can get more what you're looking for but whatever you can stay if you want I could use the extra view the first swimsuit I actually want to show is the only one piece that I have. All of my others are bikinis and this one piece is from a really amazing company called We Are Ha, H-A-H. -H. I ordered a mystery box from them. They included two swimsuits, one of them which was a one piece, which I never usually go for just because I feel like they're not as flattering on me. They wouldn't complement my body type, but this really surprised me. First of all, it's white, but it's totally not see-through. It has an extra lining and the fabric is almost like this, not crochet, but it has this cool detailing on it, which I really wasn't expecting to like. And then it has a ton of straps on the back and on the sides. So I really liked this swimsuit. I was surprised that I did like how it looks on me. The next swimsuit I have also from We Are Ha and in that same mystery box, I got two suits and I got this peachy orange colored bikini. It has these straps on the sides of the bottom with some nice gold detailing. Something that's really cool about this suit is that it's completely adjustable in like every which way. All of these straps can be made looser or tighter. And then the same for the top. Also, these are just super well made. They're made with a lot of recyclable material and I believe they use plastic bottles in a lot of their pieces, which is so cool. I'm really happy to have found this company and I want to start supporting more swimwear companies like this one. But overall, I really like this and I've got it pretty recently, so I'm excited to wear it for the first time, hopefully the next time I go on a trip or in the summertime since that's coming up. This next suit I've had for a while and I would call this like an athletic suit. I have kind of different categories of my swimsuits, ones that I would feel comfortable like swimming and doing activities in and then others where I probably wouldn't. And this one I definitely would feel comfortable doing activities. It just fits very securely. It has like this extra band around the chest area and the straps cross in the back. And I got this a while ago from H&M. And then the bottoms are super simple. I'm a big fan of a black swimsuit, but I do like how this is a little bit different because it has this striped texture. I just really enjoy how this one fits. This next swimsuit, I really like, and I'm sorry to say that it's from Zaffle, unfortunately. I've decided not really to support companies like Zaffle anymore. If you're questioning whether something is ethically made, whether something is sustainable, whether these prices are too good to be true, it usually means that something is up, and I think that is the case for Zaffle, unfortunately. I do have a couple of suits from them and companies like that, but I'm just gonna keep the suits because I really like this one. The last time I went snorkeling, I wore this suit. So I would classify it again as more of an athletic swimsuit. But also I just think it's really cute. I like the white and black. I'm usually not big into patterned swimsuits. I like one singular color, but this would be an exception just because it's black and white. And I really like the cut of the bottoms. I think it's very flattering. I also have a couple of suits from Arlo Swim. This blue one that I have is kind of an interesting cut. I don't really have anything that looks like this in the front. It's a little bit different than a typical triangle bikini because all of the lines and cuts are very like 
straight and angular rather than curved. I kind of like how it looks though. It's pretty interesting and it has adjustable straps in the back which is nice and then pretty standard bottom with these straps on the sides. I wore this actually when I was in some cenotes in Mexico. So I did go swimming in this. I didn't feel like anything was going to come out or come undone. I usually am not a big colorful person when it comes to my wardrobe, but I would say swimsuits are the exception. Another piece that I have from Arlo Swim is actually this bandeau. I think that this could probably pass for like a shirt if I was out somewhere like at the beach or at a pool and then I wanted to stop for food somewhere. I feel like I could just throw on some jean shorts and keep this as a top and it would work, which I really like about this. It's kind of ruffly and I don't have anything like this. And it has these bottoms that you can kind of pull up high if you like them to sit over your hips or not. And I just think that this swimsuit is really unique. I don't have anything else like this cut at all. And I also like the bold red color. The next suit, this is my last suit that I have from Arlo Swim, is actually a bright yellow color. I really like this, but I wouldn't wear this again when going swimming because the top is just a little bit thin. I like how it looks though. The bottoms, I wore these bottoms when I was in the Philippines on a snorkeling trip and there was a family of Filipinos on the boat. I could just tell they were staring at me, but I do really like this suit. I think I especially just like the color and a lot of Typical triangle top bikinis don't look that flattering on me, but I do like how this one looks. I have another suit from Zaffle here. This is just a plain black bikini and doesn't have any texture on it. It's very simple. This one is pretty high-waisted, which I don't always like, but as long as I don't pull these straps too high over my hips, then I think it looks okay. And then it has a very simple triangle top which doesn't have an adjustable band around the chest. So I don't like that about this, but luckily it does fit me pretty well. I just think that it's good to have a really simple black bikini that just goes with everything, can work for any occasion. And then my last one from Zaffle, I have this dark red kind of burgundy bikini. This is another good one for like swimming and other water activities just because I felt really secure in it. The bottoms fit me super well, even though they're not adjustable, they just fit well on me and I think they are a flattering cut. And then the top as well just feels really safe and secure, like you can swim in it and nothing is going to happen. I only wore this while I was in Costa Rica. I've not worn it anywhere else and I already feel the quality starting to go down, but I do still like this and I think that I can wear it for a little bit longer before I decide to pass it on. This is my last black bikini and it's from H&M and it's old. As you can tell by the cut of these bottoms, this was like, the style of cut for such a long time I feel like and now it's just not in anymore. So I actually think I'm going to keep the top because this is like the only like truly string bikini that has ever looked good on me up top and I just really like how these triangles are like ruched and then they have this spot up top that looks really different. I've never seen anything like that before. And I can wear this top with either of the two other black bottom swimsuits that I have. So this could really be mixed and matched. But these bottoms, I just don't think I like them anymore. So I am gonna pass them on. This next swimsuit, again, is from H&M. It's a little bit dated. I actually do like this because this used to be like my go-to athletic swimsuit for any type of water activity or swimming. The bottoms are a little bit more family friendly, you could say. And then the top, you have all of these ties and adjustments, which is kind of nice because you can make sure it fits really well around you. But just the style and also the pattern, I'm just not so much into patterns like this anymore. 
So I am going to remove this and declutter it from my collection. And that brings us to my last bikini, this olive green one from ASOS. I've actually had this for a really long time and I really like the cut actually. The bottoms are pretty simple, a little bit cheeky but not too much and it has like this striped texture again on it and the top is really interesting it like goes right over your shoulders almost in like a straight really big strap i think that it actually looked really good on me as someone with a small chest it's hard sometimes to find swimsuit tops that flatter me also it just holds a special place in my heart because i wore this in thailand when i was like climbing a waterfall and there was no one else around and I like stood underneath the water and it was an extremely magical moment in my life so it's really hard for me to get rid of this because it has some sentimental value but the top just doesn't fit me anymore and the bottoms are a little bit tight as well but the top just feels like I'm being squashed a little bit, so I'm gonna have to get rid of this one. So that is my entire swimsuit collection. I now only have 10 swimsuits, and I think that's slightly more reasonable considering I'm in a place where it's not hot most of the year, so I don't need to have an excessive amount of swimsuits. I think this is plenty, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.